go. So this is just a training film about how to remove the mouse pineal gland. And um, as you can see here, you'll need some special equipment, which is the dissecting microscope and watchmaker's forceps. And after euthanizing the animal using an appropriate uh, agent, following appropriate animal care and use procedures, you can use carbon dioxide, for instance. It's important to decapitate the animal and then uh, remove extraneous tissue from the top of the head, as you can see here in the video. Uh, that extraneous tissue includes fat and connective tissue. And use the blunt edge of your scissors to remove this tissue. This uh, removal of the tissue makes the whole process a lot easier. And it's uh, from all around. And the intention is to get the top of the skull free of connective tissue. And after the tissue is removed, uh, you are ready to remove the skull cap. And you can see the foramen magnum here, and this is where the entry point is for your top of the scissors to uh, make small, shallow cuts at the top of the skull on both sides of the skull cap to create the skull flap. So here I'm using the scissors to cut the right side of the skull flap. And after making the cuts, the skull cap can be lifted either from the back. And if that doesn't work? It can be lifted from the front. And here That's what's happening here. And at the confluence of those three lines, is where the pineal gland is. So, yes. If we're lucky, the pineal gland is in the skull cap, and if we can't locate it, it's probably back in the brain and hard to get. So let's see what it looks like. There, there's the inside of the skull cap. Yes, and the skull cap can be placed, should be placed in cold PBS inside a Petri dish so you can see it floating up at the viewer. There's several images of the pineal gland uh, here just to get a give you an idea of uh, what it looks like. It's that central there. Now it's a different image, a different skull cap. But you can see it. It's sort of like a uh, pearl colored. Uh, or it's a pearl right there at the confluence of those three uh, blood vessels. And there are, as was mentioned, three points that the pineal is connected through connective tissue. These connective tissue attachment points can be removed with fine tipped forceps, carefully one at a time. This is especially important if you're going to dissociate cells because you don't want it. pineal cells contaminated with connective tissue cells. And after all of these three points are disconnected using these fine tipped forceps, the pineal can be picked up and removed from the skull cap. There's the pineal and... Oh, there it is. Okay. A joint venture. <laughs>